Uh, do we want to do the disclaimer like first? I guess we always do. Yep. This is not the show. No. <laughs> If the show is over at haircoreinthemore.com. That's right. It's an audio or, show, right? So it's, yes, a, it's like a it's podcast. It's an audio podcast. Yeah, so you want to download the show and listen to it, which means... Or subscribe in iTunes. I, I think it's cool that you're watching right now. And No, I think, he doesn't. He's lying. No, I don't. That's the I, other part of the disclaimer. I we think might lie. We do lie. I think you're weird for watching right now, frankly. But haircoreinthemore.com, or you can find it in iTunes as well. Uh, subscribe, never miss a show. That's kind of part one and two of the disclaimer. Part three would be... Harry, Harry's swear gonna, a lot. Yeah, Harry's going to swear a lot for the first half of the show. And then Corey will swear a lot for the second half of the show. Yeah, it's contagious. It's contagious. I just I just pick up where Harry left off. Yeah. Okay, let's roll. <laughs> Adver- Hold on. All right, I'm holding. All right. All right. Advertisement. This podcast is produced in... <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what what happened i don't know how this podcast has anything to do with podfly but anyway well it's because it's coming out of the podfly studio jerk oh you changed the name like a girl changes her underwear i'm gonna run the ad anyway suck it this podcast is produced <laughs> you can talk over the ad you can go <laughs> I'm going to talk really quiet. Spoiler alert. I'm going to make spoiler alerts for things that, uh, with no reference to what the spoiler's for. So there's no... <laughs> you're going to spoil nothing. Yeah. I, I love that. has to die. All right. All right, I'm going to give it a spin. Give her a spin. There you go. Frodo makes it back to the shire. It's been a while. We wild. Good morning, Harry. Good morning, Coral. I mean, Corky. <laughs> Wait, who am I now? You're Corky. Corky. That's Corky, it. It's settled. Yeah. What happened to Coral? I like that. Well, since you and Woody decided you're going to hijack hair core, the hair core name and oh, come up with a drink geez. called Woodcore oh, and do your own podcast called Woodcore, I thought you should call it Woodcork. Here we go. Or even better. Why don't, why don't you take the lead and take the front and call it Cork Wood? Isn't it a little early in the show to take your shit? God, it's never early. It's been too long. We haven't mm-hmm. talked. We haven't done this in like four weeks. That is true. It's been a long time. I, I'm really happy that the people stuck around. I don't know if they have. <laughs> it could be just you and me forever. <laughs> you know what? I could dig that though. Actually, just just the two of us hanging in, just doing this. Sure, buddy. Sure. That's the first lie of the show. Mm, fuck it. No, oh, it's too early for me to swear. It's my turn to swear, asshole. Sorry, sorry. What's up with your snoo? My snoo? Your snoo. What snoo? Oh, the snoo. All yeah. the snoo. All the snoo you got going on up there. You got a lot of snoo. God, I can't believe it. You're out there. Pl- you know what's going on? Somebody's playing music somewhere here in the condo. I can hear it. Oh, yeah. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> you don't like their music? No, it's distracting. I'm really... Well, and I, probably- they're to... probably playing music back because they're tired of listening to your Spanish love song and yeah. <laughs> Don Amara. Maybe I don't hear music. Maybe that's like one of those things, like I'm having a stroke. No, I hear music. I don't think that that flies for stroke. All right, I'm going to close the, the studio door, which means I have to move the camera. This is super confusing. Can you keep people company? Okay. Okay, Corey's going to go close the door, and I'm going to do my first spoiler alert of the evening. Harold's going to die. But I'm not going to reference what uh, the spoiler alert's uh, pertaining to. Anyways, Harold's going to die. Or he has to. Anyways, Corey should be back by now, but he's not. I'm, so, I'm back, uh, I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, we got a yeah, jam-packed show that. tonight. <laughs> that was pretty good. You're a good staller. <laughs> yeah, it was actually it's really terrible. Do you want to start again? Is this the show? No, this is the show. Like this. Just like this. When when do we ever stop? Is this what people tune in for? I hope so. Yeah. All right. Otherwise, they're going to be sadly mistaken. I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm happy that I've got you on Skype. I'm happy about that. Let me get that out of the way. But okay. I'm kind of sad because I really felt like I was going to be able to call you in the plow. Oh, you wanted to do a remote broadcast, did you? Yeah, I did. I thought it'd be really cool to to have like Harry out there 
cleaning the streets and making it safe for us all. <laughs> Harry on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Could you explain to me what the frack is going on up there? Well, it's, it's over now, I think. I, sh I didn't think I'd have to go in today, but uh, the day guy just doesn't really do much. <laughs> mm. It's been crazy up here. We just got dumped a ton of snow and uh, the whole the whole southwestern southwestern Ontario was shut down for two days. Well, I got to go play in the roads all by myself. I, I saw one of those pictures. You remember and I don't if, is it because when we were kids, okay, let me let me start again. <laughs> when we were kids no. and we were smaller, did it seem like there was more snow or was there more snow? There was. There was it, over the last five years, we haven't really had a real winter. Now we're getting a really, a real old school winter this year again. And well, people are complaining as usual on the Facebook. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's the thing that Canadians do. They, they complain about the weather. Get out of Canada, them morons. Hey, Amen. <laughs> but because I remember I was, I was showing a picture to somebody of, you remember like you open your front door and there's like a mold of your front door yep. in snow because yep. you can't get out the front door. I remember yep. that yeah, as a kid. 1976, we had 15 <laughs> to 20 foot high snow banks. You just pull that out of your arse or have you been like... <laughs> no, I'm completely serious, okay. dude. Do, do you remember that? You? I, well, probably a lot. Do you remember that or was that something that... No, I remember it. I remember pulling my little sister around on the sleigh. She was only, she was only one. Hmm. It was awesome because we could walk right up the snowbank onto the roof of the house. Yeah, because I was saying I remember snow being about halfway up the hydro poles. What do they yeah. call hydro poles in the U.S.? I thought they were telegraph poles. <laughs> it could be because in Canada we call it hydro. We don't call it electricity. We're, well, we call it electricity, but uh, yeah, hydro, hydroelectric. I guess the Americans call it. Electric telephone poles. Telephone poles, yeah. So we used to have snow about halfway up the telephone poles every winter. Mm -hmm. Every winter. You really accommodate to Americans a lot, don't you? No, I'm just being, I, I'm just thinking <laughs> because I've, I've had to condition myself not to say hydro. It's like, oh, how much is the hydro this month? And they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, what are you uh, drinking tonight? I'm having scotch. I had a couple beers you, first, oh, and now I'm having scotch. What? you got to switch it up once in a while. What are you talking about? Why? What's wrong with having the same thing all the time? I don't know. I want to play games. Mm, oh, you want to play drinking games? Kind of. Oh, you do? I don't know, man. I guess I could. But I don't... I guess. I could get a beer. I've you got, could. I, I've got beer. But then I'm all mixing and stuff. I don't know. It's up to you. I was going to say something. There was a, when we had the, I was home for a visit and uh, we had the ice storm mm -hmm. and it reminded me of another thing when I was a kid about winter, when we had this ice storm that covered all of Listowel and surrounding area and, and beyond. Mm -hmm. But the cool part about this particular ice storm is that it was so thick and it laid around for so long that you could literally put on your ice skates and skate and skate anywhere in town. Yep. It was like a winter wonderland kids dream parent nightmare. It was awesome because I'd strap the skates on and you could skate up and down hills and snow banks and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, I was all over the neighborhood. We we lived uh, at my parents' place across from Jacksonville Park. Don't be creepy and show up at my parents' place, listeners. But we used to skate that whole park and it was on this giant slope. So you go all the way up to the north end of the park and then skate down. It's almost like you were skiing on skates. It was amazing. Yep. yep. It was pretty cool. It was really cool. Oh, the good old days. The good old days. But oh, I'm wondering spoiler if... alert. Spoiler alert. Okay. Frodo makes it back to the Shire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> good God. I like it. Woodcork. What what's in a wood cork? It's a wood core. Oh, it's what's a, in a cork wood? It's uh like that cacique, that guaro, and fresca yeah. and lime. That's gay. It's gay. It's but it's delicious. It's a good beach drink. You're a beach. God, you're a beach drink. <laughs> oh man, do you want to play some tunes? Can we play some tunes? 
I want to play some tunes. All right, what do you got? I've got a little bit of heart with us this week. I figured uh, we'd pee, we'd we'd appease the female listenership <laughs> a little bit <laughs> and uh, uh, follow along through the holidays since we were off for so long. Our la- my last choice was female, and I don't know if we play that much female music. But anyways, I'm gonna play a little heart for you. We're gonna go way back and play some Dog and Butterfly, followed by their cover of Stairway to Heaven. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to do that. So fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this producer sucks. <laughs> I wonder what Scooby and the gang are up to right now. <laughs> All right, do you want to... We should cut... Oh, no, you played it. You're playing it, aren't you? I'm not playing it. Psycho killer. Well, I don't know. I just, I, you know what I did? I did the same thing again at the last minute. It's like, oh, I gotta get these tunes together. And then it's like, it's not that. It's not doesn't. It's not that hard. And then I didn't. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Um. Let me find an American here. Let me find an American. It can't be that hard. They're all over the fucking place. <laughs> they are all over the place. You're driving in your car, or perhaps sipping your cup of Joe. It's another typical. Bah, look at me! I'm on the internet. <laughs> look at you! <laughs> I'm on the internet. Craigerson, what's up? Not much, guys. How are y'all doing? We're good. good. Uh, how's Canada treating you? <laughs> like it's bitch. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm I'm having a blast actually. I don't mind the winter. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. I'm getting some feedback. All right, well, feedback, huh? Oh yeah. yeah. Hang on. How about now? Testing, testing, one, two. Yeah, I'm still getting it. I hear it. Feedback. You mean like an echo? It's actually a doubling. It's an echo. Hmm, that's weird. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's bizarre. It might be just timing. It might, it might just have to let the Skype kind of sync up. Yeah, that might be the thing. There we go. Well, let's let's let that thing figure it itself out, and we'll try. How's that? Okay. Stand by. You're driving Ten in seconds, car, Gregerson. Sipping your cup of joe. <laughs> it's another moment, Corkwood. But something is different. <laughs> you hear a sound unlike one you've ever heard before. You realize that you may have stumbled upon the greatest audio <laughs> discovery since the dawn of mankind. You realize that you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody playing with their mic? It's not right. It's Gregerson. It's always Gregerson. Are you there? It's me. <laughs> I love I love heart. I used to have like a couple of those heart tunes uh, on a cassette and listen to it like religiously. I remember. I think it was bad. A- bad animals uh, was my first introduction hmm. to that album, and then I got the uh, self titled album, and then I just kept going backwards and backwards and kind of got into them all over again. They've got a live album coming out. That's what that first song is coming from. Mm-hmm. And uh, in next year, I pre ordered it on iTunes again. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing that. Gotta love Nancy Wilson. She's amazing. Is she American? Oh uh, yes, they are. Ah, uh, you know what? But he... they're Seattle-based. They spend a lot of time in Canada, actually. Mm. She's over the years. She's been on and off with the band and whatnot. She's done other things on the outside of things. She's done some um, a lot of movie sound, like oh, okay. uh, what is it? Elizabeth Town, Vanilla Sky, and uh, <laughs> you're not reading this, are you? No. Um, what's the other one? Uh, it's a big one. Uh, shit, I can't remember. Mm. All right. Well, I did find an American, by the way. You did not. Yeah, listen. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> hey. That is an American. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Gregerson? But hey, I gotta, aren't we all Americans, though? Oh, God, here we go. Here <laughs> you we wish. go. We're all North Americans? Mm. We're all North Americans. I'm so angry. I swear to God. Is that a sore subject? You don't want to be known as an American? I, I don't feel good about that, honestly. Like, I like yeah. everything that you guys do. I just don't like the way you do it. <laughs> Does that make that sense? That sounds like a challenge. It is a challenge. Well, you better be careful because I'm ready to go. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm a little confused still. 
This uh, this show is about like your dick, and it's really short, so we better get into this. Hang on. Canadian trivia <laughs> is read by an American on here, Corey and the more. I'm trying to I'm trying new voices, and that's I don't I don't think that's working. <laughs> Should I? Is that a lightsaber? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thought we we're going to All do right. it. All right. Yeah, this it, isn't my part, is it? No, I think it's Gregerson's turn. No, oh, no, I'm sorry. My, my call dropped. I just now got back. I oh, don't know nice. You know what it is? Sure, buddy. America. That's what do you got? Like that Obama Skype? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that was that was a low blow, man. Yeah. Well, it was fucking funny. <laughs> Fucking Obama Skype is funny as hell, actually. I'm, that's mine. I'm trademarking that shit. Yeah. Obama Skype. <laughs> oh, sign up for Obama Skype. <laughs> I, so, so I missed it. So you are embarrassed to be an American. No, I have no issue with being an American. I just don't want to be known as one. We aren't anyway. Well, we are technically. No, we're not. Yeah, we are because we actually we live in America means North, Central, and South. That's all of that is America. The difference is, is that the U.S. The Americas. The, US, the Americas. No, 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 no. But no. American only means the nation of the United States. No, it does not. It absolutely does not. And I can, I can name about, I don't know, a billion people who will disagree with you. Oh, yeah? What's their name? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's Jorge Obama Barack. Oh. <laughs> no, there's all. The whole point is this, is that the Americas mean that anyone who inhabits it are americans i don't know the, the, only, the only reason why people from the united states of america call themselves american is linguistics it's the same reason that if you are from great britain you call yourself british but i'll tell you this okay much, whatever the people from scotland don't call them, people from, I, 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 I induce a people from scotland sure as fuck don't call themselves british but we call them british because it's regional and it's right anyway we're americans like it or not but you don't like that. No, I don't like it one bit. What's going on over there? What's what is this sound? I have no idea. <laughs> Why, Somebody what? blowing in a bottle. Is there is there any is there any way we could? Is this the show? <laughs> <laughs> what do you keep asking? <laughs> Can we can we do this? Can we start here again? Let's start again. Shut sure. up! No. All right. Let's no. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's just do this. All right. Uh, let's do some trivia. Just do it. You ready? <laughs> did did I did I miss, I miss my intro? <laughs> Oh, really? Because of the... Yeah. <laughs> because you, you cut out? Me. You want me to do it again? Yeah, do it again. All right, I, hang, I on, hang on, hang on. I can't do it off you. Stand by. <laughs> what the fuck do you think this is? I can't believe I have to do this again. Here we go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you know you're throwing a red by American goal. <laughs> American through your ribbon, the American. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll take that one. <laughs> All right. I have right here in my hand. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Is somebody eating? No. What was That's that? His paper. What was that? Whose paper? Uh, right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> God, you guys, you're killing me. Lightsabers. I'm not doing anything. Rattling your paper. I don't have paper. God, so angry. Listen, could be rolling my papers. <laughs> God. All right. <sighs> you guys ready? Canadian Trivers, read by American. Go. <laughs> I have right here in my hand the top ten oldest Canadian companies oh how many can you name the well, bay hudson's bay company number 
one. Eaton's. Nope. Oh, God. What's wrong with Eaton's? Woolworth. Is Gregerson on mic? I can't is he on hear mic? Him I know. He, he, I think he took the paper and he went back into the corner of the room. He's got the paper between him and the microphone. <laughs> He's sulking. He's sulking. That's that's just an American thing to do. He's sulking in the corner. Can you guys hear me? A little bit. Canadian Tire. No. There we go. There, there. Now he's up in my face. That's good. What about um? How about? How about? How about? What about, uh, oh, God, Canadians uh, and their companies? Old. What about Maple Leaf? No. Mm -hmm. Schneider's. No. God. What is Schneider's? <laughs> no. It's a, they make meat, processed meats. Mm. Hmm. What does that sound? <laughs> I don't know. Is somebody breathing in their mic? God, get a windscreen or something. It's like I'm on a sex line again. <laughs> I'm selling your papers, squeaky chair. This is a radio show for fuck's sakes. Jesus. <laughs> what about, um, God, um, uh, how about Canadian National Rail? How about no? What? Wow. There's a couple of newspapers. Hmm. Okay, that's a good hand. Toronto Star. No. What what about the Globe the, and, the Globe and Mail? No. What? What about the Ottawa Gazette? No. What about the Listowel Banner? <laughs> not on here. How about A and P? Is that Canadian? I guess not. How about what? How about A&P? Is that Canadian? If it is, it's not on here. Oh, freaking hell. This sucks. How about Dominion Grocers? Nectos. No. How about some banks? Mmm. How about the... How about the Canadian... Um... <laughs> International Bank of Commerce? Is that it? No. Okay. Scotiabank? Scotia Bank is number seven. Oh, really? really? I didn't know it was old. What about um? Well, this wouldn't what about, be, but um, maybe because this is really old. What about like the Quebec Chronicle Telegraph? Number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're that's, a cheating guy. that's the only way I'm going to win this game. <laughs> I've never read the fucking. Yeah, cheater. I've never read the Montreal Gazette. Yeah, well, yeah. Three. Go with the second from the top, too. <laughs> Who the fuck knows where the Little Inn is in Bayfield, Ontario? Number six. Oh, I've been there like eight times now. Right. And the Kingston Wig Standard. What is that? Number eight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sleeman's, for Christ's sakes. Who would have thought that okay, Sleeman's that, was? That's a good one. Number that's nine. One. Right. I like Sleeman's. But there, there was this. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's this publishing. Shut this America down. This is silly. No, no, no. There's, there's a publishing company. I'm just thinking of. It was located in, yeah, Montreal, man. Quebec. Now the company was the first to bring in and utilize like a steam-powered cylinder printing press. Have you heard of this? Get bent. No, no. It's currently run by Rene Lou, and Stefan Lavelle. Of a Jesus bitch. It's like the fifth generation of the company. I think it's called Lovell. <laughs> Number ten. Yeah. Right. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you, Internet. <laughs> that was a hard question, man. That's a really hard question. Was it? I got the first one off the top without cheating. Well, that's that... it. I challenge you to a duel, sir. I wish I had a leather glove I could smack across your face. I think we should turn this shit around. I mean, what what are the what are the ten oldest top companies? American yeah. com oldest American companies? Yeah. All right. well, fuck Ivano. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> American trivia has turned around by a Canadian. Go. Hello? Hello? Are you, are you still there? What the hey, hell is going question. on? What is going on today? Oh, I fell down. I'm so angry right now. All right, Harry, I have a question. Oh, God. Yes. Um, did you get to see Corey in Canada? Kind of. Yeah. 
He got over the fence. I tried to keep him out, but he got in anyway. <laughs> it's like a stray dog. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. I don't know if he has changed any or not since the last time you've seen him. What does that mean? What does that mean? Huh? Like changed mm-hmm. my pants? What are you what are you talking about? I didn't I didn't check to see if he shaved down there or not. <laughs> <laughs> Went all Brazilian on your ass. <laughs> yeah, you probably lost a few a bit more hair. A few a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> He's completely <laughs> bald. What are you talking about? In my caracha. <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's not. He shaves it, right? That's what she said. <laughs> oh, he did. He, there was something. There was an odor to him. Oh, yes. He smokes. No, I don't. God, who told you that? That's not true. Dude, I saw it. So angry. You bummed my smokes. So you angry. You bummed right smoker. <sighs> Who are you trying to hide the fact that you smoke cigarettes from? My mom. Everybody. Because it makes him a hypocrite, you see. It doesn't he make used to me bitch hypocrite. at me all the time for taking cigarette breaks during the show. He's like, oh, my God, there goes Harry for another fucking cigarette. Time for a bag, Harry. <laughs> you do. I'm going to bitch about everything that I don't do. I'm going to quit smoking. I'm so cool. Now you still smoke, so I'm going to rig your ass right out. Now that he smokes, he doesn't say any of that stuff. It's the best way to know what he's doing. I can't believe you do me so well. <laughs> like, that's what she that's said. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm so angry. I'm going to play some tunes. Can I just play some tunes because I'm angry? Well, maybe you should have a drink. All right, I'm going to have a drink. Why? <laughs> Why should I have a drink? Did I... Well, you can't talk while you're drinking. <laughs> oh, God. Say, what is this? I don't know. No. <laughs> That's the beauty of producing. I can just make you stop. We're done. <laughs> Jerks. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks, Gregerson. That was a hard question, man. Sorry, man. Dude, that was... No, it was good. Don't be it sorry. Was it was good. It was great. It was just like, well, that's what? That was hard. That's what she said. Oh, God. That was good. That was really good, too. <laughs> we want to take a break All here? Right, yeah. Hey, thanks so yes. much, man. Appreciate it. All right. Y'all be good. No. All right. See, see you, Dave. See you, Harry. Hello. Hello. Mm. There you are. I'm going to put you on my big monitor. Shadow. Shadow. <laughs> I'm waiting. All right. Do you wanna do you wanna do like uh do you wanna do a little bit of a break before we go back in? Okay. Do you wanna just uh keep on keeping on? Well, we got your tunes coming up here shortly. I'd rather be take a break during those fucking things. <laughs> well, we're taking a break then right now during these tunes. How's that? All right. All right. I'm going to play something that aren't the tunes because if you're watching the video, this is not the show, which means... You said that already. I what know. are you doing? Well, because look, I'm saying that I'm not going to play the actual songs that we're going to play in the podcast. Because <laughs> if I play these songs, they're going to pull us off YouTube. We're not even on YouTube. I just checked our YouTube account the other day, and Haircore No More, there's not a single video on our Haircore No More page on YouTube. No, because they all go to my page. Because we <sighs> never use the other one. Fuck. Do you want them to go to the other one? Why not? Then they're all together, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. You greedy bastard. Okay. Okay. God. Jesus, eh? I'm so angry right now. Me too, eh? <laughs> All right, I'm going to play something else. Back in 10? Yeah. Back in 10. Back in 10. Back in 10. Thank 
por las noches no más se le iba en puro llorar Dicen que no dormía, no más se le iba en puro tomar Juran que el mismo cielo se estremecía al oír su llanto Como sufrió por ella que hasta en su muerte la fue llamando Paloma blanca muy de mañana me fue a cantar a su casita sola con sus puertitas de par en par juran que esa paloma no es otra cosa más que su alma que todavía la espera a que regrese la Desdichada Se le iba en puro llorar Dicen que no dormía Nomás se le iba en puro tomar Juran que el mismo cielo Se estremecía al oír su llanto Como sufrió por ella Que hasta en su muerte la fue llamando
de par en par juran que esa paloma no es otra cosa más que su alma que todavía la espera a que regrese la desdichada Said no engineer ever. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you, got lots of knobs. You you seem like say that again. <laughs> well, you got one big one right here. <sighs> are you are you, uh, are you? I feel like you're disappointed with me playing Talking Heads. No, it's just the band that I never really got into. That's all. Oh, really? You don't like the yeah. art, You don't like the art. Just, they don't do anything for me at all. I can understand that. I get that. What's his name? Brian. No. David Byrne. David Byrne, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Heard an interview with him on uh, the CBC the other night. That was cool. Yeah, I He's mean, a smart guy. I like him. He is. I mean, that's the thing. It's kind of like intellectual art rock. Yeah, but uh, that's like that's like bad religion, too. I hate that band, too. They're yeah. a bunch of professors. Are there a lot of bands that you're supposed to like, but you don't? I guess so. I don't. I don't know. I've got a, quite a few bands I think I'm supposed to like, but I don't. I don't know. Talking to Heads is just... I don't know. Even the production doesn't really impress me, but I guess it's kind of cool. I don't know. Yeah. It's just not my taste, I guess. I know what you mean. I hear you. I hear you. I got a lot of likes that you don't like. Yeah, yeah. You and I don't like a lot of the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on. All right, let's do a segment. How's that? All right. What are going to do? <laughs> I don't think these voices are working. I, you know, I, I thought it'd come into the new year. Uh, like, oh, <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. It's because you don't have, uh, you don't have a soul. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> Well, you don't. You don't because you you'll kill the show when you're unhappy that somebody's ra ragging on you a little bit. But right. you'll rag out just as hard as anybody. Sure. And uh, yeah, you'll you'll cut mics. You'll boot people off the show. Like poor Dave, man. Like he's he's our he's our producer, and you treat him so badly. Mm -hmm. And then you and then you'll cut him off, and it's like somebody's paying you to do the show, and you don't have that authority. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? I should I should probably you don't get shit enough. That's what it is. People don't people don't give you shit enough. I don't get shit. I don't get shit. 
That's why I don't like this show. I don't like this show. <laughs> I come on here and I get shit every week. That's what it is. <sighs> hmm. Should I send flowers? Maybe. Okay. Send him a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Walk it in the park just the other day, baby. What do you, what do you think I saw? Stop. Is it a kiss? No. Okay, carry on. Crowds of people sitting on the grass with flowers. Stop. Is it, uh, Chicago? No. Okay. With flowers in their hair said, Hey, boy, do you want to score? Stop. Okay, keep going. And you know how it is. I really don't know what time it was whoa, whoa. <laughs> so i asked them if i could stay a while is it david lee roth no damn it i know this song i didn't notice but it got dark very dark and i was really really out of my mind just then, a policeman stepped up to me and asked us, said, please, hey, would you care to all get in line? Get in line? Well, you know, they asked us to stay for tea and have some fun. Oh, Is it Frank Zappa? No. He said that his friends would all drop by. Oh, Why don't you take a good look at yourself and describe what you are? And baby, 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 do you like it? There you sit. Sit and spare like a book on a shelf rusting. Ah, not trying to fight it. You really don't. Helen? No. No. You really don't care if they're coming. Oh, oh. I know that it's all a state of mind. Oh. <laughs> if you go down in the streets today, baby, you better. You better open your eyes. Is it Molly Crew? No. No. Folk down there really don't care. Really don't care. Don't care. Really don't which, which way the pressure lies. So I've decided what I'm going to do now. What are you going to do? So I'm packing up my bags for the... <laughs> where the spirits go now. Over the hills where the spirits fly. Oh, I really don't know. Is it? Is it Led Zeppelin? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it Carousel? No. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, good cobra. Damn it. Chupacabra. <laughs> Chupacabra. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You don't have to go. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't go. No. Damn it. God damn it. Big god damn. God god damn. To give up? No. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't have to. You're thinking of the wrong tune, by the way. Am I? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
I give up. Oh, burn, burn, burn. Is it? Uh, I really don't care what uh, time it was. This is the Misty Mountain Hop. Righty, right. God, you, I, I'm going to give it to you though because you got Led Zeppelin. Oh my God, not not right away though. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it was a long time getting there, but you got there. Yeah, you got there. <sighs> that was a toughie. That is a toughie. It's a great tune, though, but it's one of those ones that it's like everyone, you think to yourself, oh, I know Misty Mountain Hop. And then you look at the lyrics and it's like, I don't know this song. Yes. <laughs> so it sounded like a Chicago tune to me. There's a lot of things about this that sounded like somebody else. So I, I totally forgive you all the way through. Oh, you're so sweet. See, I'm not, I'm not a dick. <laughs> when you want to be. Yeah, I guess. I can turn it on and off. It's a spigot. <laughs> What's a spigot? Spigot. You're a spigot. Uh, spigot. Gore is a spigot. Is that racist? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> you're a big fat spigot. <laughs> oh, speaking of being racist, my favorite <laughs> show got pulled from the air. What happened? They were racist on the air and they pulled the show. At least that's the that's the network's excuse anyway. Who? The Dean Blundell show. Oh, they got pulled. Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. CRTC pulled them or the network? No, the network. Mm. Yeah, the edge. That's a shame. That's a good thing you don't oh, work well. there. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can keep going. Okay. <laughs> Carry the torch. I don't I don't know if it's too cuz we're we're running short on time, but I can extend the show because I'm a dick. <laughs> just get an erection and watch him go yeah but um i don't know if it's possible is there any way you can tell me a story i could tell you a little story oh i ain't gonna need some tuning age working on it david 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 where's david I'm just kidding <laughs> Corkwood. Stand by. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Like, yeah. Raja. Raja. Oh. Corkwood. <laughs> Everybody. Look at my fucking garage. Look at my fucking garage. Look at my garage. My fucking garage. <laughs> <sighs> yes. So we're getting close to the, the last of my recollections of the Chevette Chronicles. But, uh, <laughs> I can't wait for the end, but I'm not going to spoil it. Spoiler <laughs> Okay. All right. But anyways, this is a little story. It goes back early in the Chevette's life. And uh, and it had a lot to do with this one particular corner uh, between Listowel and Kitchener. Hmm. And uh, if if you come back from Kitchener and you turn at uh, the place is called Cross Hill, you get up enough speed and you go straight through uh, the, the, the 90 degree corner. Instead of turning left on the asphalt, <laughs> you go straight through and it's a gravel road. Yes, you do. But it's right at the peak of a hill. And, uh, well, the Chevette wasn't very good at, at it, so I'd have to take a run at it. So I'd have to go further back from the corner just prior to it to get up enough speed to do this jump. But anyways, I always like taking cars off this jump. And the Chevette was nice because it it fly well. It was a really good flyer. I, and I, I did it with a lot of people. And I think the first time I did it with you was, was specifically interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it was a foggy evening. It was late at night, and we we're on our way back from the city. And and uh, I, I basically your typical Canadian. Watch this. Here, hold my beer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I turned down the road, and you're like, "Where the hell are you going? This is the wrong way." So I went down a ways, turned the car around, got her up to speed, hit this corner, go flying off this the, this uh, this corner of the the road onto a gravel road. We must have jumped about, I think you get about eight or 10 feet of air, but, but the distance was between 30 and 40, 40 feet before you actually touched down again. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. Actually. Yeah. I think you could get about 30 or 40 feet out of it. Damn. Anyways, uh, 
I, I had done it a few times, but I'd always, after the jump, slow down and turn around and then carry on our way, right? Mm-hmm. Well, for some reason this night, I decided, well, let's just keep going down this road to see where it goes and whatnot. And we're heading down the road, and it's the fog's getting thicker and thicker as we're coming into the valley after the hill. And uh, uh, you could see the sign poking out of the, the fog coming up, <laughs> and it was a, it was a right-hand turn sure coming was. up. But the... The thing that was weird was it looked like the sign was on the left-hand side of the road from where we were. It's like, what? Why is the sign over there? And then as we got closer to the sign, you realized that the road curved around to the left just slightly. And and that was confusing enough to me that I forgot that it was a right-hand turn, and it was, it was a hard right 90-degree turn. Mm-hmm. And we must have been doing a good 50 or 60. 60 still at that time, I'd say. What would you say? I would, I would say, are we talking mile an hour? Or kilometers, whichever. whichever. <laughs> I would say we're probably clocking about 60. Clicks? Yeah. Yeah, and, and then all of a sudden, there's this right-hand 90-degree corner. And I, I, I remember seeing you grab the dash, and I remember seeing these <laughs> big, huge elm trees all in a row. Like, there's four or five of them. And I'll, I just I, I tucked the wheel to the right just a bit to throw the, the balance of the car all to the right-hand side of the car. And then snapped the wheel all the way around and hammered the throttle because there was no way we were going to stop. No. There was no way. So I wheeled it all the way to the side. I put the car into a big, huge power slide, just stomp on it basically powered the car all the way around the corner sideways and we bar- I barely was able to to recover the car from that spin or a slide skid whatever you'd like to call it but uh yeah you didn't say anything and i think i turned to you at the time and said i'm glad you didn't say anything because that's really distracting in a <laughs> very serious time i have a, I, there's two things that i want to say here number one that that was one of the two times i've been in a vehicle that I am fortunate enough or unfortunate enough to know what it looks like before you die. <laughs> and number two, I do appreciate you mentioning the fact that I said nothing because there are a handful of times in my life that I cannot be critical of people. Normally, it's in the event where I know I'm about to die. <laughs> and the last thing that I want to do is tell you, I told you. Yes. <laughs> Well, I was fast. pretty busy. I was pretty busy over there. <laughs> Man, and the thing is, like that that car, though, like I couldn't believe how much abuse that vehicle could take. <laughs> like you got to, I mean, hats off to Chevy for building such a solid frame for such a shit car. Yep. Yeah. God. Yep. I missed that car. What was the last year of Chevette production? That's what I want to know. I think it was... Uh... 86 or 87? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was 86 or 87. Mine was an 82. God, that car was badass. <laughs> was, so badass. Yeah. That was a really nice story. That really brought back a lot of memories because now I'm like, I'm really thinking about all the times that I almost died, honestly. Yeah, at my hand. Yeah, in your car. <laughs> one one car, another. God, that's weird. Ta-da! Uh, I know, that was great. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Okay. I know. All right. I hate to step on the gas, but I got to go for dinner in a bit. It's time for... Uh Because I'm a dick. (laughs) Yeah, who books dinner during a show? Dinner fucker. Dinner fucker. Shove that in your wood cork. Or your cork wood. Cork wood. Cork wood. I love that. That's my new thing. Corkwood. <laughs> Corkwood's good. Corkwood in the more. Anyways, it's time to get on with it. Let's hear it. Hear that, Woody? Corkwood. Get over here right now. No, get over here. Do it. God, I'm a good bass player. Get over here and do this, you. You're weird, you bitty old bit. God. You said it. You are weird. Scotch burp. <laughs> I, I missed that. Scott. <laughs> Close the door. 
pull out the light. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Wait, wait, stop. Have you done this one before? Have I? I think you have. I don't remember. Okay, carry on, but I think you have. Oh. You know they won't be home tonight. Hmm. The snow falls on, and don't you know? <laughs> nope. What? I th I think you've done this one before. Really? Do you know it? Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> That's what makes you it don't. Great. It's what makes it great. <laughs> Is that we the both wind. have we both have terrible memories. Yeah. <laughs> the winds of thought are blowing. <laughs> time out. Time out. We're like two old men on a porch telling the same story to each other. <laughs> yeah. And, Whit and wood. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know that we've already told that story ten times. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whit and wood. <laughs> All right, let's do this. The rare and steel that's brought and true. The carry news that must get through. They choose the bath where no one goes. <laughs> Walking side by side with death. Stop. Is this like, uh, is this Iron Maiden? Nope. Okay. The devil mocks their every step. Hmm. God, the British have good lyrics. Mm hmm. The snow draws back the foot that is slow. Wow. I just, I'm enjoying this. The dogs of doom are howling more. God, this is good. This is really good writing. They carry news that must get through <laughs> to build a dream for me and you. Oh, me too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they choose the path where no one goes. I don't know what this is. <laughs> The dogs of doom are howling more. Mm. That's it. I don't. I honestly don't know what this is. Awesome. God. Wait yeah. a minute. But Payback's the bitch. It's funny. We both picked Led Zeppelin songs this week. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> is, is this really? This is what? <laughs> what? Are you serious? Da, da, da. Absolutely. Oh, my God. This is so what? No quarter. Wow. <laughs> wow. How much is it because we we spend, and I'm not making excuses, but how much is it because we spend so much time like listening to like the Led Zeppelin music, like the song and the sound and the way it's played mm -hmm. that we, we just, maybe we don't really pay attention to the lyrics. I told you before, early on when we started doing this show again, I it's the last thing I listen to usually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, too bad. I just I just did want to mention though our little German uh, friend on on our on our hardcore and more Facebook page. That that's been a lot of fun. <laughs> What's going on there? What the hell? I don't know. This person, I, unless it's you, unless it's, it's you not fucking me. with me. It's not me. But no, it's not. No, I just saw it and I'm like, what the fuck is that? I thought it'd be fun because I I. I I see this hello, this inbox <laughs> message to yeah. our haircore page. It's like hello, <laughs> and a couple of weird letters. I'm like, oh, 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 see what's going on here. So I just, I decided to have a conversation. <laughs> I loved the the last the question. What's Corey? Yeah, what is Corey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so should I should I uh, read it, read it aloud, dictate it? Yeah, please do. Okay, just a sec. Uh, where do I find it? Okay, there, there it is. Messages. This has been so much fun for me because, you know, I've never really got to use my translator on my computer before. Uh -huh. But anyways, Adrian and Rob goes, ha, laugh out loud, WG. I don't know what that means. Do you? Um, WG? I would say what the gut. Okay. Okay, maybe. I don't, I don't know. And no. then, then, then the next post she has is, hello. 
<laughs> so I'm like, okay, hi, what is up? <laughs> then I get, kannst du Deutsch? And I, without translating it, I, I figured she was asking if I could speak German. Okay. So I, without even translating, I go, not really, but I have a translator and I spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then she got back to me she goes sorry i can no english and mm. frowny face oh so so then i start <laughs> i start using my translator and go nick work click aber ich hab in nine oversteiser we uh -huh. we wore us <laughs> which i can't remember what it was i think that i think Oh yeah, that's that's me translating my my last comment, right? Okay, okay. And then she comes in, we're best in English, <laughs> and then I repeated it by accident. I'm like, whoops. Oh, oh yeah, she's asking, who is this? <laughs> and then I'm like, it, it is I, Harold. <laughs> it is I, Harold. <laughs> <Yeah>. Harold the Great. <laughs> <laughs> and then she didn't get back to me for like, I don't know how many. Oh, a day, a couple days. So I'm like, ah, would you rather talk to Corey? Oh, wouldn't see mit Corey sprickin'? <laughs> and then she responds, what is Corey? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, it's been funny. Oh, dude. <laughs> <sighs> I, think we have, fun. I think we have a show title. I think we do, too. Good morning, Harry. Wouldn't see mit Corey sprickin'? Guten Morgen. We got to do it at in in german or german though what is cory i think so <laughs> hi guten morgen harry guten talk corkwood <laughs> 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 that's good to be back it is good to be it's back, really good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh you guys did a good job of tearing me to hell tonight that was <laughs> funny <laughs> <laughs> oh man! You're not editing any of that out either. Fuck no. Okay. That's no good. way. <laughs> it's too hilarious. <laughs> that was a brutal show, but funny. <laughs> oh man. Are you Are you going to edit any of those dead air stuff? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Good. No. The yeah, whole I, thing. No. This is going out raw. So I can't imagine what the audience is going to think. <laughs> <laughs> this is going raw. This is too good. <laughs> Just the way it is. What happens to the show after four weeks off? Yeah, right. <laughs> He's got the paper. He's like trying to be a newsie or something. Yeah. Like, Look at me. I got to... <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. It's like you need a good microphone if you're going to do that, dude. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. All right, let me stop this. <gasps>